they were just talking about uh, Bradford pear and how that's starting to become invasive. This time of year is probably when you can uh, really see the, the Bradford pears the best. Um, they tend to flower before any of the other flowering trees around, like the uh, dogwoods and crab apples. If you just look around, look for their characteristic shape, um, you'll notice how many there are, you know, in the subdivisions, and it, seems, it almost seems like every yard has one. Initially, when it was introduced, the, there was only really one cultivar out there, and that was the Bradford. At that time, uh, you know, with it being, with every tree being genetically identical, it couldn't cross-pollinate, and so therefore the tree was sterile. Once uh, the Bradfords grew for a few, few years, people started noticing problems with the tree structurally. Uh, whenever there was a bad winter storm, the trees would just split apart because of the, the branching patterns. Then people got the idea that, well, let's find some trees that are structurally better. So they started introducing um, uh, more selection. And once these trees were out there, they were able to cross-pollinate the Bradfords that were already existing. And so all the trees were, were starting to have viable fruit. Of course, this is a fruit that the birds are happy to eat. So not only do the viable fruit drop right there around the tree, the birds take them and carry them for miles around. 